Hello, my dear. How are you today? What's up? How are you, Kamal? I'm super fun. You tell me, how are you enjoying? You have, mashallah, such nice bookshelf over there that I can see. Yo, this, hey. is my, this, is my, this is my library and I'm utilizing it as a, as a studio uh, during this lockdown period for, for doing live chats. Yeah. I understand the lockdown. So how are you enjoying your lockdown? Are you enjoying or khalaf? You got bored now. Yes, I am. Uh, see, uh, I think uh, the, the best thing that you can possibly do in this lockdown period is that if you can possibly be having some sort of work, because I think that's a, yeah. that's a very good distraction. So uh, what, what I've been doing the way you've been doing that uh, I've been chatting yeah. with celebrities um, and uh, doing interviews and we are publishing it on what uh, Nama and um, yeah. that is keeping, that is keeping. Exactly, right? Exactly. I think this is our period to have the lots of interviews done because later on they will all get busy and then we don't have a chance to take them live. So I think this is the only great time for us to have the most out of it. So Faridun, welcome to Chai with Ahmed. So basically Chai with Ahmed is all about masala. Most welcome. So it's all about masala chats. I will not call it interview because it is so 90s, so 50s. It's about new generations. They are doing so much of fun stuff, so much of masala humor, everything will be there on Chai with Ahmed. So, what we will be doing today, we'll be having three categories. So now, this old thing that we are doing, it's never been done on any platform, so it's, I started it, I can say that. So, to open each category, you have to unlock the category. So it means, I'm giving you questions based on that category, then you have to go for the next category. Category number one is called Fan Moment. There are some few very questions that is very inspirational question by your fans, actually, they have asked. And category number two is called Inspire Tree House. So here is the 20% of seriousness where we have to be, which is, I'm going to give you a topic, which is a little bit of inspirational kind of topic. Category number three is all about fun, fun and fun. Bollywood quiz, Bollywood drama, everything will be category number three. So that's why I keep it number three. So you're ready to go? Any question you want to ask yeah, before go. we I'm go? Ready. Yeah, Done. Go So now before we go to category number one, I will give you a timer of 30 seconds. You have to tell everything about yourself in that 30 seconds only. We want to know what Feridun see himself as in 30 seconds. Ready? Everything right. that you want to say about yourself in 30 seconds. We want to see how well you will do in this one. So, on start of three. Three, two, one. All right, so um, I'm an entertainment journalist. Uh, I like to have a good time. Uh, I live for the moment. Uh, I try and work very hard. I don't want to take things too seriously. I think it's very important to enjoy each and everything that you do. It's very important to be credible. It's important to um, believe in mutual respect. Um, it's important to believe in infotainment as far as uh, I'm concerned and uh, be as genuine as you can be. Perfect. You have finished it. Mashallah, 30 seconds was amazingly done from your side. So I want to ask you one more question before we go to category number one. Now you have been in this industry since years and I have been seeing you and you have been one of my inspiration, honestly speaking. Your show is amazing. I have been learning a lot from you guys, from Bollywood Hangama and from you. So I want to know how difficult it was being in this industry and how difficult it was to establish yourself. You know, um, being uh, uh, like difficult part, I don't know, but so I've been around for quite some time and I've been, uh, I think it's, it's been almost 22 years now for me and um, wow. uh, I did a course in Times of India and after that uh, I started working in a magazine called Sun Magazine and again, mm -hmm. itself I started uh, doing uh, interviews with, with stars, so I interviewed Manoj Bajpayee when I was in Delhi, uh, Satya and Delhi at that point of time. So, yeah, so um, then uh, I've been working in Bollywood and Nama for the last 13 years and it has been a wonderful journey. So in terms of challenges, the challenge was initially people uh, used to laugh at the fact that how can you possibly watch videos on uh, internet. Um, yeah. In South India, there was awareness because of the IT revolution, but in, in Mumbai, um, the, the, the level of awareness was less. So it was tough initially as far as that thing is concerned. Um, I was helped by the fact that, um, first of all, India FM at that point time, India FM mm -hmm. uh, has premier, uh, premier um, online portal for a really long time. And 
the fact that we had relationships uh, i used to get access to to celebrities uh, the moment i mm-hmm. joined india in my first interview that was with uh, jia khan uh, the actress who passed oh wow away. the day one was uh, katrina kaif so katrina kaif uh, that was for namaste london a movie that was about to release but in both these interviews i was not in the frame so the first interview that i was in the frame was with mark dikshit so uh, that's how things started initially uh, initially we used to have this uh, entire fixation uh, with mm-hmm. the news channel so uh, the preference was for news channels and then the online uh, medium used to come because we were the only ones who were uh, doing this stuff as far as online is concerned so there was mm-hmm. you know the, the way that you have hierarchy the caste system the way you have it, it was there that yes. first of all it should be the news channels and then maybe we can think of the online platform um over the years uh, it became the the way things changed uh, the digital platforms they became huge and uh, that that became the number one choice uh, for for the publicists for the media people for uh, uh, the production houses for the actors for the stars for the social media to go up uh, the, the things completely transformed and uh, in the last few years uh, we are the number one preference of uh, almost yes. everyone like, much more than uh, the news channel because news channels they have a very limited time frame for showcasing um, uh, entertainment content so things have changed over the years uh, it has been a long journey it has uh, it has been a uh, i think an inspiring journey it has been a journey that has been filled with a lot of learning experiences so yeah i don't anything that you that you manage to achieve uh, is impossible without uh, a lot of hard work and patience i think the most important is patience and the fact that you keep on learning you keep on learning yes. from your own mistake you keep on learning from the changing environment it's very important to accept new technology the way uh, say we are we are talking on this insta chat right now so it's very important mm-hmm. to accept new technology and never ever look down upon it um yeah and just keep on updating yourself keep on updating yourself and it's very important you know, that uh, for me personally that i should not bore anyone uh it's yeah. very important for the celebrities that yeah. i'm talking to let's say if i'm talking to you right now i think it's very important for me that i hold your attention you should be interested in me and people who are watching this they should find it worthy of their time so that's exactly that's exactly that's why i say interviews so 50s we have to make masala chat so everyone you know like be interesting and people also outside they want to come and see without leaving the chat so yeah, you know, so, it, yeah. It, it, it's important to have fun it's important to have uh, uh, entertainment but uh, it's also important to make it credible you know it should not be yes Should not be about giving um, uh, like really catchy and controversial headlines, which is not yeah. really going with the, the content of uh, the video. True. So that's very important to have a credible sort of um, viewpoint because if you are not credible, then after a point of time, people will just look at you in terms of gossip and uh, beyond a point, exactly. it's not good. Exactly. Exactly. Completely true. completely true i am agreeing with this one okay so congratulations you have unlocked category number 1 category number 1 is the fans question now this are very entertaining question actually it's not entertaining it's like kind of inspirational when i see the question the first one is a little bit entertaining i have to say so the first question is saying one incident with an actor that was funny that you would never ever forget hmm what incident with an actor that was you know there are many there will be many yeah. but something that comes to my mind off hand i can tell you that and i think it was very very funny so um we did an interview with uh, diljit dosanj uh, the oh, yeah. famous singer and actor and kriti sanan so their movie was releasing it was this was last year this was in 2019 mm. so now i tend to do these uh, these uh, these quiz segments in my interviews and rapid fire yeah. so we were doing a we were doing a quiz with them and uh, at the last moment i came to know that uh, so we give away uh, certain prizes in our quiz segments to the okay. stars whoever wins so there was like a sort of catch for the actors there so so my one of my team members yet forgotten uh, to bring the the speaker that was meant to be given away okay. as a portable speaker that was meant to be given away as a gift so he had forgotten to bring that because of, of the rush so while we were while we were doing the quiz Uh, once we were done with the quiz, the quiz, quiz was very very funny. Okay. The quiz was hilarious, and after that, uh, I told him 
I told them that uh, see, this is uh, unfortunately we are not having the the gift, but uh, this is what you are. This is what you have won. This is what what is up for before the before the quiz. I showed it to them mm-hmm. that this is what you what up for grabs. So I showed it on the mobile that this is the speaker. So Diljeet was laughing so much that the fact that Rupi, um, you have won won the speaker and yes. ये स्पीकर है भी नहीं ये मोबाइल पे आप सिर्फ देख सकते हो उसको गाना बनाया जा रहा है तो इट वाज सो फनी एंड आई हैव नेवर सीन हिम लाफ सो मच ही वाज ही वाज लिटरली इन टीयर्स ही वाज लाफिंग सो मच एंड वी लेट ऑन लेट ऑन वी सेंट अक्रॉस द स्पीकर टू बोथ ऑफ देम सेपरेटली बिकॉज़ वन हैड वन द रैपिड फायर एंड द अदर वन हैड वन द टू एंड वी गॉट अ वीडियो मैसेज रिकॉर्ड फ्रॉम देम सो आई थिंक दैट वाज अ वेरी वेरी फनी इंसिडेंट I think I have seen that uh, episode. I think Diljit in every interview he's very fun. He's very humorous kind of person. He tweeted right? that. He tweeted that. Yeah. Yeah. He did that portion. That's great. Okay, now next one is say ever got embarrassed while in interviews or ever someone walked out during your interviews. With I don't no, think that you want to that, mention the name no name. That would be a nightmare if if anyone walks out. So thankfully that that has yeah. never happened. That has never happened, and uh, embarrassing moment maybe yes, uh, but that can be for different reasons. Uh, mm. Offhand, I'm not uh, really able to remember anything that uh, that really comes to my mind. Um, not really, like you know, nothing, nothing that I can really talk about. But uh, yeah, there are sometimes there are some. Uh, embarrassing moment in the sense that the sound goes off, or the, mm. the, the cordless mic just 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 falls down, yeah. something of that. Maybe those sort of That's things really may have happened, but uh, thankfully no one has ever walked out. Alhamdulillah, very very God grace. Okay, now second one. Um, I mean the third one, which is the last question from this category. Ever got refused for an interview? Ever got refused for an? Yeah. For me, it happened once. Huh? For me, it happened once. Thankfully, no. Thankfully, no. Oh, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, what has happened is that uh, that because of uh, because of uh, uh, the demand that that is there for our show, there have yeah. been occasions when we have had to say no to um, certain interviews because we yeah, felt that maybe it will. and it's always not a nice feeling uh, because our our endeavor is that whatever we do we should do it well and we should not do it half hearted because if you if you're doing too many interviews which we are anyways doing um mm-hmm. what happens is that after a point of time the quality will suffer and our our endeavor is that we should, we should not let the quality suffer at, at any cost so it is unfortunate but there are times when we have had to say no but uh, no one has said no Of course, because you guys are a huge platform. Who will say no to you guys? No one. But yeah, it no, happens that, that when someone exactly. comes. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we have finished from category number one. Category number two is called Inspired Treehouse. Now here, we, I will give you a topic. Then we have to discuss about. So it's like a TED talk or like a little bit of inspirational kind of question. So I will give you three topics. You have to choose only one. But I will not tell you the topic names. So I will tell you topic A, B, C. Once you will choose, I will tell you which topic you have chosen. So A, B, C. Which one will you pick? A B. B is called rejection terminal. So rejection terminal is about a group of people who face rejection back to back, which is in entertainment industry or professional industry. Then they will get afraid to go back to the same place, afraid from being rejected again. So they will leave their passion for that kind of job. So what do you want to say to those kind of people who being rejected and they stop their dream? You know, I'll tell you something honestly. One of the biggest takeaways. Uh, of talking to celebrities of talking to people of you know i i even like to talk to all of ordinary people i like to travel so i i like to speak to people who are say for example making jalebis for example or making making yeah. tea making uh, making pan for example so uh, i love talking to ordinary people as well on the street and uh, that is something that uh, quite a few people they they really like it too because i keep on posting mm. it on social so um, you know the one of the biggest takeaways of uh, talking to various people is uh, that That they always have a lot of stories to tell, and 
anyone and everyone they they faced faced rejections and uh, many many cases people become what they become because of their rejection uh, True. there are so many examples mr pachan for example he faced so, so many rejections uh, rithik roshan initially uh, he was so underconfident uh, he used to stammer and uh, he had other issues yeah. um, there have been so many uh, aishwan kurana ranbir singh yeah. um sharukh khan uh, he had a tough tough life because his parents passed away at a very early stage and he was very confident but even then um amir he has had his share of struggles so many of so many so many others like uh, priyanka chopra for example we have seen her struggle in uh, in, in bombay even after reaching the peak um, yeah there was a point of time when uh, her movies did not uh, were not doing well and people felt that maybe yeah. Yeah, this is it, and then suddenly she went to Hollywood, and she just totally reinvented herself. So there have yeah. been um, there have been so many examples. Like even from my personal experience, uh, there have been occasions when um, I've had some really bad experiences, and I had nothing to do with that. But uh, yes, obviously, when you're trying to move up, uh, there, there are spanners which are thrown in your in your path, and at times you feel that it's not really worth it, and uh, it can mm-hmm. be brutal. It can be really nasty. Sort of resistance or opposition that you can possibly be getting because you, you're getting certain amount of fame or or success, but the important part is to keep on going because uh, everyone has a short-term memory. So you may have had a bad experience and you may feel that people are people are talking about it and people are thinking about it and people are judging you maybe, but they're not. They have their own yeah. problems. They have their issues. It is just that it is important that you remain grounded. You remain positive. um you keep on working hard because there is no substitute for for uh, work there is no substitute yeah. for for success because the moment you, you you keep on delivering the goods yeah people forget everything people accept you with open arms so i think so sure. rejection is a very important uh, element in one's life and it should only and only propel you into going further ahead with a lot more vigor and lot more strength and courage true i think that's completely true i i still remember that when i started uh, my career uh, not not my career my hobby and my passion as chai with ahmed i had been faced lots of rejection and so many people my close friends they have left me for what i'm doing they saying what you're doing about bollywood at least if you want to do do about hollywood like bigger platform i say if i have a passion then why shouldn't i do about bollywood so i have faced lots of rejection lots of bullied lots of racism but it was at at a time that i wanted to stop i said half i will stop it but then i said if i stop it then i will shatter people's dream that i had a dream and i stopped it and then i will yeah. back resume and if exactly and if i come back and i resume so people will not trust me so he said he paused and he he came back and he resumed we will never know when he will go back pause again so i said no i will continue whatever happens happens so from a self made person right now i have a full team who working with me so i am really dedicated that i didn't stop and i always say to people don't stop whatever you have just continue yeah, never. you never know yeah you never know when you will reach it it might take time but a very interesting show as yeah. well very interesting format thank you so much that's why i have a chai <laughs> i saw you having a chai as well great great i just had my okay. chai yeah once you're in dubai i will have to have i will make for you one my, nice chai you know, from my own family family is in dubai my my brother my sister my mother they are all of them there in dubai oh really that's yes. great that's yeah. that's amazing so when you will come to dubai after the lockdown you will come to dubai soon yes so let's see let's see how once things settle down after that let's see let's hope for the best let's hope for the best okay so now we'll go for the third category which is the most fun category it's called super double drama so in this one we'll have everything fun so i'm giving you three pillars pillar number 1 is called dub my scene so i'm giving you one scene of a 10 second of a bollywood movie so you have to dub your own scene so let me see what faridun will dub from that scene ready it's very interesting and we want to see how will you dub this scene Hmm. Ready? So I don't remember the dialogues, but uh, no, no, you can say your own. You can say your own. Hmm. Make it your own. Should I start?
Should I start now? Yeah, yeah, start, start. It's yours. So, we have never done that. So, what do you want to do? So, what do you want to do? So, Nice one. <laughs> But you have a very nice voice over I must say huh you make a very nice dialogue of voice over I've done voice over Really yes, Wow I never knew that that was amazing Okay now we have finished with the first pillar second pillar this is very interesting it's called Bollywood pop up quiz Now I have seen giving you interview giving rapid fire now I want to test your Bollywood knowledge with this segment Now it has sure. five points mean five questions so each question have one point and then I'm going to post this one and everyone will see how much Faridun got out of five so fans can help you if you want to they can answer it if you want so currently on the lead is Shantanu Zarian Khan and Karishma Tanna with five out of five now I want to see how much Faridun will get a five out of five I am very interested so ready question number one Give me any two movie names that star Sanjay Dutt and Kangana Ranaut. Sanjay Dutt Sanjay Dutt and Kangana Ranaut. Yes. Sanjay Dutt and Kangana Ranaut. Uh, one is a Chetan Bhagat one. I'm forgetting the name. I don't know. One, you tell one me. One with uh, Ajay Devgan. I'm forgetting the name right now. Come on, how will you forget the two names? I give up on Chetan and Bhagat in the movie. Sanjay Dutt and Ajay Devgan and Kangana Nath was because I'm not it was a David Dhawan film, I'm not remembering the name right now Rascals, one is Rascals Rascals, Rascals yeah Okay, the second one, we will see if people can help you in the chat Come on guys This is, the second one is a very comedy movie Sanjay Dutt and Kangana Nath Yeah I don't remember Which Okay, people wrote for you Okay, which is the one? There is um, no problem and there is also double demand. Double demand? Double demand? Kangana Ranaut was there. Kangana Ranaut, Malika Sharawat. In double demand? Oh, okay. I yeah. Remember. That song, Oye Oye was there. I really love that song. Okay, right. now I'm going to give you another question. So question number two. Who was the lead actress in Imran Hashmi's Crook? Imran Agnes Brooke, Neha Sharma. Perfect. Who did the guest appearance in the movie Rawan as a she? So there's a he and there's a she. So the lady. Who did the guest appearance in Rawan? Who made a guest appearance in Rawan? And, yeah. Uh, so there was two guest appearances. One a man, one a lady. So the lady one, who was it? I don't remember right now. Come on, Faridur, it's easy. I don't remember right now. You're, you're you having tough questions for me. <laughs> I, I made some, somehow tough, yeah, I made somehow you tough. You are not tough, you are not easy question. Yeah, it's Priyanka Chopra, who was in the red dress. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you two clips. So you mm-hmm. either tell me the song name or tell me the movie names. Okay? okay. So I'll make it a little bit more easier for you. Sanjay, that was not a raw one. People are writing things. Okay, so first one that I'm going to give you is this. It's a little bit difficult. It's not an easy one. Is it 36 Chinatown? No. It's not? No, it's a comedy movie. It Chukke, also has Chukke, Sunil Shetty. Chukke, yes. Chukke, Chukke. 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 Yeah. Nice. Second one. I'm okay, I it's a Mrs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw that actually, Kumar. No, that's why. <laughs> so that was, it was very good. At least you got five out of five. People helped you. So at least you got with the people's help. So that was great. Now, the that last is... segment. Which no, I did not read Arabic. anything. I've not read any comments. Yeah, so I got it really? on my own. You didn't? No. I did not read anything. Mashallah, mashallah. That's why we're having Faridun in the house, guys. That's why. Now, the last segment, are you ready, the Arabic, which I'm going to teach you some Arabic. So, what words do you know in Arabic, first of all? What words do I know in Arabic? Yeah. I know like, marhaba, habibi, shukran, 
everyone knows habibi everyone knows habibi this is the common word but now i'm giving you more advanced so i want to see how you will spell this khalkum fil bait yeah you have a good pronunciation khalkum fil bait means stay in home which is one of the most important things that people have to do right now actually right so you have a good pronunciation now the second one this one ana i have to Anna, I have come. Are you sure you don't know anything in Arabic? Because you are so good in pronunciation. Wallah. Now the last one. This one you have to say it very nice one. With the with the expression, huh? With the expression. Anna Abdal Sahafi Fil Hind. Show right on. Yeah, say it with expression. Anna Abdal Sahafi Fil Hind. Show right on. Sure, right. It means, yeah. It means, am I the best journalist in India? What say? What I would say, definitely yes, definitely hundred percent yes. So that was okay. it. So that was it for Idun. Most welcome. That was chai with Ahmed. Basically, a full masala chat. I should say we have fun. We had humor. We have serious questions. So, what do you want to say? Lastly, about everyone who wants to become a journalist. Who wants to become a journalist? Uh, you know, I think. Um, it's a it's a very uh, sought after profession right now when, when yes. i was starting off at that point of time people were more keen on, on uh, medicine and engineering and uh, mbas but right now uh, there's with, with so much of media all around us with so much of mm. uh, social media all around us and new media around us people really find that they are very fascinating so it's a it's a great profession the only thing is that be credible um, be responsible is uh, because you may be having a certain reach you may be having a certain standing of your own so use it for the right purposes don't use it for anything negative make sure that uh, if you make sure that try and deal in facts yeah. give opinion only when you when you strongly feel that you need to give an opinion uh, make sure that if you're giving any opinion that um, it should not be really harmful in any way what's so harmful in the sense it should not cause discord of any mm. sort it, it's important that it should uh, it should bring people closer it should bring people together it should try and uh, to um, try and uh, remove doubts in people rather than sowing the seeds of hatred or doubts in the minds of people so uh, it's uh, i think most important thing is be responsible be credible yes um, don't like that when other people are gossiping about you so it's very important that if you are talking about other people as a journalist so you have to be very responsible not to hurt people not to uh, not to be frivolous while talking about them uh, be very mm. very responsible in in what you say and uh, yes so uh, responsibility and credibility i think is the key Uh, what i believe in as far as entertainment journalism is concerned is in this infotainment that you have to yeah. give the right information the correct information and you you can make it entertaining the way you have made your show entertaining so Thank you. that is that is the, the important thing to, to to be entertaining to bring smiles to people's faces because i think one of the biggest service that we can do in today's world is to bring a smile to people's faces yeah That's completely true. बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया फरीदून तुमने मेरे लाइफ को शाइन कर दिया और तुम्हारा समय तो इतना ही कमाल है माशाअल्लाह. So I'm trying my Hindi little bit. I'm trying. I am good. I am manageable. So that was it. Thank you so much Faridun and it was such an humble uh, for you to come over the show and I really wish that um, you become more and more and more and more successful but you are successful but more and more inshallah. And inshallah one day you will come to Dubai. We have to see you. We have to meet. We have to have original chai for my own hand of course. And uh, yeah, that was it. Thank you. Wish you all the best in your future Thank and you. career. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care, Fabian. Take care. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye.